welcome back to Excel Exposure. Hope you've downloaded the most recent master workbook file. There's a sheet on it, sheet 12, for conditional formatting. And that's what I'll be discussing today. Uh, a lot of times when other people will be using your spreadsheet or you want to make sure that information pops out to yourself or others, you can add some visual flair to an Excel spreadsheet. For example, you might highlight some rows of information so that it jumps out to someone if you want them to see that and it's more important. One thing you can do in Excel is called conditional formatting which allows you to do this without having to go through and manually update the formatting and it also can can be engineered so that you show information visually automatically without having to really do much besides set up a few initial criteria. So first thing you'll need to do is find out where conditional formatting is in Excel. If you go to the view tab you'll see there's conditional formatting over here in the styles area. Um, conditional formatting allows you to do a lot of different things. There's um, highlighting cells rules for different criteria. Top and bottom percentile type highlighting. There's also data bars, color scales, and icon sets. And you can mess around with any of these and see what you like. But I'll show you a few examples of how you can use it to improve the look of some of your spreadsheets. First, I'll show you some conditional formatting based on numerical values. You'll see we have example data table here of players of a, a fictional game with high scores and low scores plus some extra information about the players. Here I'll, I'll highlight the high scores so you highlight the area you want to be conditionally formatted you go up to conditional formatting and click it and you'll see this highlight cell rules. So we want to do it if it's greater than a certain amount so I'll click that. You'll see it already has a, a value in here for me I can change that on the fly though and it'll show me out of that automatically what's what's highlighted with that criteria so everything happens to be greater than 5 if I put in 79 you'd see it would automatically highlight the ones that are greater than 79 and here in this little drop down box you can change what kind of formatting you'd like you can use some of the presets here or you can go to custom format and create your own so let's say we want to highlight it with red and make it white text I'll hit OK. And so you'll see now we have the high scores. Anything over 79 is highlighted automatically. And you'll see if I go in and change one of these to be 76, let's say, it automatically changes the highlighting so that it's no longer highlighted. You can do the same thing with really any any type of number system you'd, you'd like to employ here. You can see there's less than in between. So if we did in between, uh, let's say, Three and or three and five, you'll see it'll automatically highlight there. Three, four, and five. So I suggest to go through and play around with some of the different um, numerical uh, conditional formats here. I'm using the top and bottom rules. You could look at let's say the bottom ten percent here of the low scores, and you'll see that those are already highlighted. I'll change it just to make it a little bit more fun. Another example is you can use um, some of these data bars or icon sets. Here's a, a color scale. I'll use it on the low score one just to make it a little bit more uh, varied. And let's use a color scale. So you'll see it, it colors green, yellow, red. Red for the lowest numbers, green for the highest numbers, and kind of lets you gauge where some of the, the information is. And depending what kind of information you're showing, this may be a good way of looking through it. You can always go up to this box and hit Manage Rules, and then it'll start with the current selection, which is a blank cell. But if I click that and go to this worksheet, you'll see all the rules that I've set up so far, and it'll show you where where it applies. I'm going to actually go through and delete all of these, and show you how to do a custom conditional format based on a formula. First, let me show you one more, which is the text conditional format. So if we want to go into highlight cell rules and you want to have text that contains, you see as you type, it'll it'll highlight anything that comes up. Let's say the name Tom. You can see three people come up. So if you were wanted to put in like a pr certain product code or something that where you wanted to highlight a certain thing, that's a pretty easy way to do it. And you can do just partial text and it'll highlight that as well. Thing that a lot of people don't necessarily know conditional formatting can do, which is uh, based on a formula that you input. So here 
I'll highlight the username if the high score is above a certain amount. Whenever you do these conditional formats like I was just looking at, you can only do it based on what's in the current cell. It, it's not based on another cell's results or, or the data that's included in it. So here we'll be highlighting the username based on the high score. So let me highlight my usernames. I go into conditional formatting and I'll go to new rule, which is without a rule type conditional formatting. You'll see we have many different options here. I'm going to actually go to the last one, which is use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now when you select an area like I did over here, it's from E4 down to E30. Whenever you put your formula in, you want to base it on the first cell in that range, so E4. So I'm going to write this formula as if I'm evaluating the Steve 101's value in E4, so everything will be in, in row 4. It will be relative to where it's positioned, so if I, uh, I'll, I'll just show you. Here I can put in equals C4 is great, greater than let's say 75 and here you can click on format and pick what you want to do I'll just do a yellow fill hit OK and you'll see that it'll highlight the username based on what the high score is because a lot of times you might not want to highlight the high score but something else that's re relevant to it this can also be very useful if you want to highlight an entire row based on something else so let me go ahead into my manage rules I'll get rid of that one right there and make sure you go to this worksheet or you might delete it from the active cell only. I'll hit delete rule. Alright. Now let's say we want to highlight each row if they responded yes to the email. Meaning if they want to receive an email. This is all fake data so you can use it for however you find it useful. But I will go to new, new rule. Use a formula. And here I will say uh, equals h for and now before the H I'm gonna put a dollar sign because again it's gonna be relative to the cells position and I want it to be column H no matter which one along the row it is so e H4 equals and in quotes I'll put a Y and then I will format it with a fill hopefully this will work I'll hit OK alright now you'll see everyone that's responded yes to the email now has the row highlighted and you can do that with, uh, with any type of formula which will result in a true or false result. I'll show you another example here. This time I'll actually show you how to modify one you already have. So this is, this is the one I just put in. If I double click on it, you'll see I've got my formula here. Now I'll actually change it. So here I'm going to put an AND formula in, which takes any two logical statements, and if they're both true, it'll result in a true. So, remember to put the dollar sign on the column. I want to see if C4 is greater than 75 and D4 is less than 30. So therefore, I should only highlight every row where the high score is greater than 75 and the low score is less than 30. And I'll hit OK and then I'll hit OK again. And you'll see only the five that the, that criteria matches are indicated here. And here you see Tom Jones 1 is pretty close, so if I change this to 29, you'll see that that row gets highlighted. So it's a pretty good way to, to keep the visual aspect while also having the data that can be manipulated based on it, so that you don't have to actually go through and highlight it yourself, but you can have it automatically call out some information based on certain criteria that you set. I hope that was helpful for you, and feel free to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions. Thanks.